The Life and Legacy of Shaykh al-Akbar Ibn al-Arabi's Path to Divine Realization Shaykh al-Akbar, known to the world as Ibn al-Arabi, is a figure who transcends time, space, and the boundaries of human understanding. His life, teachings, and prophecies are the embodiment of profound spiritual insight and mystical wisdom, offering an inspiring blueprint for seekers of truth. To explore his life is to journey into the depths of the human spirit, touching the divine and grasping the essence of existence. In an age where the material often overshadows the spiritual, his life serves as a beacon of light, reminding us of the infinite potential within each soul to reach the divine. Born on July 28, 1165 in Murcia, a region in what is now southeastern Spain, Ibn al-Arabi's early life was set against a backdrop of cultural diversity and intellectual flourishing. At the time, the Iberian Peninsula was a melting pot of Islamic, Christian, and Jewish thought, making it an ideal environment for a young mind eager to explore the vast realms of knowledge. From a young age, he was drawn to the spiritual and intellectual pursuits that would later define his life's work. His early education was steeped in the Islamic sciences, where he quickly distinguished himself as a prodigious scholar. But it was not merely intellectual curiosity that drove him. It was an insatiable hunger for the divine, a thirst for the truth that could not be quenched by conventional learning alone. This hunger led Ibn al-Arabi to embark on a journey of spiritual discovery that would take him across the Islamic world, from the Maghreb to the Mashrik. Along the way, he encountered many of the great Sufi masters of his time, each of whom would leave an indelible mark on his spiritual development. These encounters were not merely exchanges of knowledge, they were transformative experiences that deepened his understanding of the divine mysteries and propelled him further along the path of Sufism. One of the most significant of these encounters occurred in Fez, Morocco, where Ibn al-Arabi met the great Sufi master Shaykh Yusuf al-Kumi. This meeting was a turning point in his life, as it was here that he first tasted the true essence of divine love. Under Shaykh Yusuf's guidance, Ibn al-Arabi underwent a profound spiritual awakening, experiencing a direct, unmediated encounter with the Divine Presence. This experience left an indelible mark on his soul, forever changing the course of his life. As Ibn al-Arabi continued his spiritual journey, he began to develop the doctrines that would later define his teachings. Central to his thought was the concept of Wadat al-Wujud, or the unity of being. This doctrine posits that all of existence is a manifestation of the One, the Divine Reality, and that the diversity of the world is merely a reflection of the infinite possibilities within the Divine Essence. In this view, every being, every object, and every event in the universe is a mirror reflecting the Divine Light, each in its own unique way. This understanding of the unity of being was not merely an intellectual construct for Ibn al-Arabi, it was a lived reality. He saw the world through the eyes of the heart, perceiving the divine presence in all things. For him, every moment was a reminder of the divine, every breath a communion with the sacred. This vision of the world is perhaps best captured in his magnum opus, the Futuhat al makkiya the Meccan Revelations, a sprawling work that encompasses a vast array of spiritual, philosophical, and metaphysical insights. The Futuhat al makkiya is not merely a work of speculative thought. It is a record of Ibn al-Arabi's own spiritual experiences, a testament to the heights of spiritual realization that can be attained by those who seek the truth with sincerity and devotion. The work is a treasure trove of mystical insights, exploring the nature of God, the cosmos, and the human soul. It delves into the intricacies of the spiritual path, offering guidance to those who seek to follow in Ibn al-Arabi's footsteps. But Ibn al-Arabi was not content to merely contemplate the mysteries of existence. He sought to live them, to embody the truths he had discovered. His life was a testament to the transformative power of divine love, 
a love that transcends all boundaries and dissolves all distinctions. For Ibn al-Arabi, the ultimate goal of the spiritual path was not merely to know the divine, but to become one with the divine, to realize the essential unity of all things in the one reality. This vision of spiritual realization is perhaps most vividly expressed in Ibn al-Arabi's concept of the Insan al-Kamil, or the perfect man. The perfect man, according to Ibn al-Arabi, is the complete manifestation of the divine in human form, the one who has realized the full potential of their humanity by transcending the ego and becoming a mirror for the divine light. The perfect man is not a distant ideal, but a possibility for every human being, a goal that can be attained through sincere devotion and spiritual practice. Ibn al-Arabi's teachings on the perfect man had a profound impact on the development of Sufism, influencing countless generations of spiritual seekers. His ideas were revolutionary, challenging the conventional understanding of the spiritual path and offering a new vision of what it means to be truly human. For Ibn al-Arabi, the spiritual path was not about renunciation or asceticism. It was about embracing the fullness of life, seeing the divine in all things, and living in harmony with the one reality. In addition to his teachings on the unity of being and the perfect man, Ibn al-Arabi also made several prophecies that have intrigued scholars and spiritual seekers for centuries. Perhaps the most famous of these prophecies is his prediction of the coming of the seal of the saints, a figure who would appear at the end of time to renew the spiritual path and guide humanity back to the divine. This prophecy has been the subject of much debate and speculation, with some interpreting it as a reference to a specific individual, while others see it as a symbolic representation of the ongoing process of spiritual renewal. Regardless of how one interprets this prophecy, it is clear that Ibn al-Arabi saw the spiritual path as a dynamic, ever-evolving journey, one that requires constant renewal and adaptation to the changing circumstances of the world. For him, the spiritual path was not a static set of rules or doctrines, but a living, breathing process of transformation, one that is guided by the divine presence and shaped by the unique circumstances of each individual's life. Ibn al-Arabi's vision of the spiritual path was deeply rooted in his own experiences, but it was also profoundly universal. He saw the truth as something that transcends all religious and cultural boundaries, something that can be found in every tradition and every culture. This universalism is evident in his works, which draw on a wide range of sources, including the Quran, the Hadith, and the teachings of previous Sufi masters, as well as the philosophical traditions of ancient Greece and Persia. Despite the profound depth of his teachings, Ibn al-Arabi was not widely recognized during his lifetime. His ideas were often misunderstood or dismissed as too abstract or esoteric. But this did not deter him from his mission. He continued to write, teach, and travel, sharing his insights with those who were open to receiving them. His travels took him to many of the great centers of Islamic learning, including Cairo, Baghdad, and Mecca, where he continued to refine his ideas and deepen his understanding of the spiritual path. It was during his time in Mecca that Ibn al-Arabi had one of the most significant spiritual experiences of his life, an experience that would shape his understanding of the divine and his role as a spiritual guide. While in Mecca, he had a vision of the Kaaba, the sacred sanctuary at the heart of the city, surrounded by a host of angels and illuminated by the divine light. In this vision, he saw himself as a servant of the Kaaba, dedicated to preserving and transmitting the spiritual teachings that it symbolizes. This vision reinforced Ibn al-Arabi's sense of mission and inspired him to continue his work with renewed vigor. He saw himself as a bridge between the earthly and the divine, a conduit for the transmission of divine knowledge to humanity. This sense of mission is evident in his later works, which are characterized by a deep concern for the spiritual well-being of humanity and a desire to guide others on the path to divine realization.
Ibn al-Arabi's final years were spent in Damascus, where he continued to write and teach until his death in 1240. During this time, he attracted a small but devoted group of followers who recognized the profundity of his teachings and sought to carry on his legacy. His influence continued to grow after his death, with his works being studied and revered by Sufis and scholars across the Islamic world. Over the centuries, Ibn al-Arabi has come to be regarded as one of the greatest mystics and philosophers in Islamic history, earning the title of Shaykh al-Akbar, or the greatest Shaykh. His teachings have had a profound impact on the development of Sufism, influencing countless generations of spiritual seekers and shaping the course of Islamic thought. His ideas have also transcended the boundaries of Islam resonating with spiritual seekers from a wide range of religious and philosophical traditions. In many ways, Ibn al-Arabi's life and teachings are more relevant today than ever before. In a world that is increasingly divided by religious, cultural, and ideological differences, his vision of the unity of being offers a powerful reminder of the fundamental interconnectedness of all things. His teachings challenge us to look beyond the surface of our differences and see the divine in all things, to recognize the common thread of humanity that binds us together. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of Ibn al-Arabi is his reminder that the spiritual path is not about attaining knowledge or status, but about transforming the heart. It is about cultivating a deep and abiding love for the divine, a love that transcends all boundaries and dissolves all distinctions. It is about realizing our true nature as reflections of the divine light and living in harmony with the one reality. As we reflect on the life and teachings of Shaykh al-Akbar, we are reminded that the journey to the divine is not a destination, but a way of being, a way of seeing the world that transforms every moment into an opportunity for communion with the sacred. In a world that is often consumed by the pursuit of material success and superficial achievements, Ibn al-Arabi's life stands as a testament to the power of spiritual realization, a reminder that the true wealth of life lies not in what we possess, but in what we become. His life invites us to embark on our own spiritual journey, to seek the truth with sincerity and devotion, and to strive for the realization of our highest potential. It reminds us that the path to the divine is open to all, regardless of our background or circumstances, and that the journey itself is the greatest reward. In a world that is often darkened by division and despair, the light of Shaykh al-Akbar continues to shine, offering hope, guidance, and inspiration to all who seek the truth. In closing, let us remember the words of Ibn al-Arabi, who said, He who knows himself knows his Lord. These words encapsulate the essence of his teachings, reminding us that the journey to the divine begins within. It is a journey that requires courage, sincerity, and a willingness to let go of the ego and embrace the truth of who we really are. As we embark on this journey, let us be inspired by the life and teachings of Shaykh al-Akbar and let his light guide us on the path to divine realization.